Okay, hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to look at how to put divs on a circle like this. And hopefully this will help you understand the sine and cosine functions a little better as well. Um, so down here, the styles, these are just basic um, position, absolute, uh, height, width, transform to center them, all that. So nothing too special going on there. So what we need to do though is take this big circle and calculate where uh, on the line each little circle should be. So to do that, we get the radius of this big circle. And if you just set the radius in pixels, you don't need to do this, but I have it at 80 V min and 80 V min for height and width. So that means if um, the height is smaller, it'll take 80% of the height. And if the width of the screen is smaller, it'll take 80% of the width. Uh, but so I can do this uh, and it'll stay the same height and width. Okay, so uh, to get the radius, we just bind to the client height. So that's the height of this and then divide it by two. So burp, that would be the radius. So that's what's going on right here. And then to get the, so here's the names of these planets and then to get the angle interval so basically, uh, this is just the space from here to here. Burp, burp, burp. That'll be the angle. So if we had more, so if I add another one like Pluto, now there's six. Uh, okay. So then with this angle interval and radius, we can calculate um, radius times the sine. So this will like calculate how far we should be. So here, um, angle interval times index. So we're getting this number here, 0, 1, 2, 3.14, 1, 5. So it's a, it's a, you can see like this is pi. So that's a full pi. And then to get all the way around, you need two pies. Um, okay, so, but we take this number here. So it moves, basically we want a number this angle interval plus in, uh, times index will give us a number, and then we just pop that into the sine and cosine functions, and then we'll have our left and top. So I wanted to show you here, this is sine function and the cosine function. So basically there, you'll see like each of them from zero to two pi, they end up at the same spot. So they're going up, down, up, kind of in a circle. Like they, together they make a circle because uh, they're always coming back to the same point. So you can see here in the, um, here we have, as we go this way, we have X increasing and Y increasing. So X and Y increase, and then once we get to here, X starts to decrease, but Y is still increasing. And then again, they go together, both decreasing, and now X is increasing and Y is decreasing. So it's the same as these functions here. So, uh, at some point, they're both decreasing, like here. They're both going down. And then at some point, uh, one of them starts going up, and the other one's going down, but then they go up together. And that's what creates the circular, um, yeah, we get this circle thing here. OK, so I know it probably doesn't make total sense, but hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea. Of, so like, And then these radiuses are basically just to offset them so that they land on the uh, circle, the big circle. Okay, so that is that. Uh, and then another thing you can do, so right now we have six and it's evenly spaced like this. If you wanted, you could add an offset. So let radius offset equal, let's say two. And then you could just add that in here. Radius offset plus radius offset uh, plus. Maybe two's not good. Three, four, five, yeah. So then you get a bit of a, it's not as evenly spaced. And then if you want to animate this and have them keep rotating, I'm just gonna copy paste this here. You can start with zero and then yeah. Okay, then you can have it rotating like that. Okay, well, that's that. Here's my first video in a long time. Um, 
I will try to start making more relevant videos, but I just wanted to put out something simple just to get the ball rolling and um, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it for this video. Bye.